Okay, well today we're gonna try something. I haven't really seen anybody try this like on video or anything yet, but <clears throat> we're gonna try to pressurize that tank with an RV pump for the water. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use, because there's no power up here and we're trying to go a little bit off grid. Uh, we're gonna use these panels, uh, put them on a pole right beside it. I don't know if you can see that pole right there. Uh, put it on a pole that's gonna go up and down right here. And we're gonna have like a little, this is gonna be like where we contain the batteries and stuff like that. So, That'll be mounted on the side right here somewhere. I'm going to figure all this out as I go. Uh, and what we're going to try to do is get... Like, so when we hook up a hose or something to this, it's not kind of just dripping out. You get get some pressure out of it. So, I thought... I did a little research and I thought... It's the most cost-effective possible way to try to get it done. At least temporarily, because once we get the building built up here it's gonna be you know over on the other side in between like these trees and right on the other side that's a pile of uh, concrete underneath those tarps that's gonna be for like the foundation and the slab and stuff but until we get that built over there we're gonna need water we're gonna need water especially for the concrete and that type of stuff uh, and the pressurized water but what I'm gonna do is, is I'm, this is gonna be sort of like a test run I feel like we're going to be able to get this to work, but it's going to be a test run. We're going to take what we learned here and transfer that to the building. Um, you know, once we get the bugs worked out of it, you know, if I find something could work better or, you know, tweak it in some way. Um, so we're going to start with this. That way we can uh, building process, make it a little easier. We've got some pressurized water. We can use some stuff. And then once we learn what we learn from doing this, we're going to transfer that to the building over there um, so that once it's built, we could actually do this. You know, we'll use that to uh, gather rainwater, 275 gallons, use that to gather the rainwater, and then use that system that we're going to work out here to pressurize that for outside and inside stuff. You know, we could hook up a sink and, uh, you know, things like that. Um, keep everything clean and stuff like that but I got this from Northern Tool on sale it was $135 on sale I think they might be a little more expensive right now but not by much nature's power it's 110 watts should be able to get close to 10 amps and the little pump only pulls max 8 amps runs on about four and a half and I got a handful of batteries here so I got three right there. I got another two in the truck. The batteries are gonna sit like in here to keep them out of the rain. I'm gonna attach that to there. Um, I might not be explaining this very well, but yeah, I'm gonna, as I go, I'm gonna be taking pictures and explaining some stuff and then we'll, uh, we'll see how well it works out. I feel like this is probably gonna work out. We're just gonna have to figure out what the, the bugs were and, and the stuff, but I'm gonna get started putting it together. Okay, this was step one with the brackets. Had to modify them just a little bit. And if you can see, cut them down like right in here. They were more pointed. I don't know exactly meant for this type of thing, but it worked. Uh, I had to remount the holes right here to fit those, but it works. I mean, it's, it's on there. It ain't going nowhere now. So that was the first step. I anchored that piece of plywood to that so that that box right here has a place to sit, put the batteries and stuff, and batteries are a little bit heavy, so it's good that it is uh, on there pretty good. On to the next step. All right, so for the next step so far, we got it on a test run. It's pumping the water. For now, what I have hooked up is just the batteries that were already pre-charged from the solar. Um, we got it hooked up to a little DC switch right here. Um, it it works right now. So what I'll, I'll just turn it on real quick. Let's 
So you can see some of the water coming through the strainer being pumped out. And to the little hose bib. And it's got a decent amount of pressure right now. What I'm gonna do is uh, test it again in a minute with that hose. See if the uh, if it gets enough pressure to uh, actually use it like a standard hose. But it seems like it's coming out pretty good right now. We'll see. Um, so that's the first step. Now the next one is is we're gonna get the solar panels mounted so that the solar panels can keep charging the batteries and then that should be a pretty good system if it, as long as it all works pretty well water flow seems like you get ample light up there you know so uh, put a panel in on that rod and we're gonna go horizontal and it's gonna mount it on the post um, to feed the batteries so so that part's next and we'll do some more testing but it's working so far okay we'll make this part one of a part two video series I need a couple more pieces that didn't show up in the mail like the bracket that's gonna hold that to the little mast right there I'm gonna put another one over there on that one so it'll be two panels powering up it's gonna be there's four batteries in there right now three of them are being used uh, I gotta pick up a couple more bolts and stuff like that to jump them through but it's charging right now see it's charging it's not fully charged yet um, we did have it on and it was working really good. Uh, the batteries weren't charged enough though to keep it going, but I can turn it on real quick. Batteries are still low, but it's working. Uh, once it gets a full charge and there's two, two panels and five batteries in there, I don't think it should be uh, a problem. Maybe something minor we have to do. Maybe add different or more batteries to it even than that. But for now, it, it it's working. It was working. Um, so it's an experiment. And we're just going to keep uh, trying. But I'll put some uh, pictures of the uh, stuff that I used to get to this point. Um, if anybody wants to try to make something similar. But I'm sure if you had, you know, a more efficient pump, this is just sort of like an RV pump. It was a cheap idea. And when we take this idea and put it inside, it's gonna be, you know, much better. This is sort of a, a cheap way to test it out and actually be able to use some of the water too. I mean, it was spraying out of that hose pretty good. You know, it's a 50 foot hose too, so. Yeah, uh, I think it's gonna work. I think we're just gonna have to tweak it a little here and there. Like I said, two pan I have two panels already. I'm just gonna have to get them mounted, get some more batteries hooked up, and then give it a good charge. So I'll do a second video once we get all that together.